Hi boys and girls, it is the creator of Bored with Miss Reynolds, Better Off Reading Every Day. I have a good one for you and it is called The Adventures of Baby Balloon. As, as you can see, I am surrounded, surrounded by balloons. So I wanted to give you a Baby Balloons Field Day adventure. Meet the baby balloon, his family and friends, and enjoy their fun adventures. So, in order to have a little bit more close-up fun, I'm gonna come down and be closer to you, All right? Let's be close. Why don't I bring my balloon friends down here with me and let's be close together. My name is Baby Balloon. Come join me on my fun adventures and meet my family and all my interesting friends as we have lots of fun together. Baby Balloon lived on a long string together with Mommy Balloon. On a long string. Not that long, but you get it. With Mommy Balloon. Daddy Balloon, Big Brother Balloon, and Sweet Sister Balloon. In a colorful bunch tied to a cart of the balloon seller. I want to see the world, said Baby Balloon, and wriggled himself loose from the bunch. Don't you do it, Mommy Balloon warned, but it was too late. Baby Balloon flew away up higher and even higher. Whee! shouted Baby Balloon as he flew up high into the clouds. What are you? Baby Balloon asked the big puffy cloud. I am a cloud. What kind of bird are you? Asked the friendly puffy cloud. I'm not a bird, I'm a balloon. Soon, said baby balloon, as he drifted on through the sky. Just then, Baby Balloon saw a white bird flying straight over his head, flapping his big wings. Oh, you are so beautiful. What are you? I am a stork. And what kind of bird are you? Asked the big friendly stork. I'm not a bird, I'm a balloon, he said laughing and twirling through the sky. Then Baby Balloon looked down and saw a big brown animal standing in a green field, waving his bushy tail from side to side. What are you? asked Baby Balloon as he gently floated by. Moo! I am a cow. What kind of bird are you? asked the friendly cow. I am not 
a bird. I am a balloon, said Baby Balloon, laughing and winking as his string flapped behind him in the wind. As he flew over a big blue pond, he could see his own reflection in the water. Just then, he saw something bright and shiny with a big friendly smile and two big round eyes leaping out of the water. Oh, where did you come from? What are you? I am a fish and I live under the water in this blue pond. What a beautiful fish you are. I love fish, Baby Balloon cried out in laughter. And what kind of bird are you, asked the fish. I am Baby Balloon and I am not a bird, he said with a big happy smile on his face. The fish smiled. With a splash, he disappeared under the water again. Baby Balloon was feeling happy and kept on drifting across the green field. Just then he heard some music he knew coming from the fair where his family lives. Oh, how I miss my family now, he said with a sad face. The puffy cloud heard Baby Balloon and felt sorry for the little fella. With a puff, 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 he slowly blew Baby Balloon towards the balloon seller. As Baby Balloon got closer, the balloon seller reached out and quickly grabbed onto his string. There you are, you little rascal. Don't you go flying off by yourself again, okay? He said with a smile on his face as he put Baby Balloon back in the bunch with his mommy, daddy, brother, and sister. That night, they all cuddled closer together and Baby Balloon slept like a baby bird after his big adventure. That is the end of this beautiful book. It says, thank you for reading our story. More of Baby Balloon's adventures are coming soon. And that is the end, boys and girls, of the adventures of Baby Balloon. This was such a sweet, beautiful book. Boys and girls, it is Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day. I don't own the rights to this book that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is, once I saw these balloons hanging in my library here at school after the book fair, I knew I had to use them for something. And you know me, I love, love, love my props. And I said, why not get all the balloons together and get a book and read. And that's how I discovered Baby Balloon. So Baby Balloon's favorite thing was twirling in this book. So we are gonna twirl with Baby Balloon and this book. Are you ready?
a baby balloon. We'll see you again really, really soon. Bored with Miss Reynolds, better off reading every day.